We're here on the Dry Cottonwood Creek Ranch, formerly owned by the Coalition for 16 years. When we owned the ranch, our purposes were oriented towards conservation, protection and restoration of the Clark Fork watershed. And so what we did here with Dry Cottonwood Creek, which was a 23 square mile watershed running out of the Continental Divide down through our ranch, was try to improve the quality of the stream in every way possible, including reconnecting the stream to the Clark Fork River, rewatering the stream, and restoring the habitats in and along the stream for its full length. Uh, we're up here on the South Fork of Dry Cottonwood Creek, putting in an aquatic organism passage culvert. The noise behind you that you can hear is excavators digging a hole. We're gonna put in a 10 foot pipe, something like that. So cutthroat can move in and out of this drainage. We've been working on this project, the East Deer Lodge Valley Restoration Project for about eight years now. This is the last culvert of 15 that we've put in. This one is funded by Clark Fork Coalition and other partners. And the whole goal with this project was for connectivity of a um, genetically pure population of West Slope cutthroat trout. 100% pure populations of West Slope cutthroat in Western Montana are very few and far between anymore. The existing culvert at the project site was too small and too steep with a drop off at the outlet that prevented trout from swimming upstream through the culvert. The new culvert is way larger with no drop at the outlet and allows trout to easily move upstream and complete their migratory life cycle in this watershed. Last week we came in, we brought in all of our different types of earth materials. And this week we started out by dewatering. So we brought in two three inch submersible pumps and a two inch submersible pump to pump the water around us so that we have a dry area to work in. Once we got that up and running, we removed the existing culvert. So what we're working on right now is we're trying to establish the subgrade for the base of the culvert, the new culvert to sit in. We'll set that culvert and then we'll backfill it um, and then we'll go to reconstructing the stream bed. And the new culvert is a fish passage culvert that is designed to allow um, us to build a stream bed in the bottom of it so that the fish can um, rest and stage and move through the, through the um, culvert as well. Once those weirs are set, then we'll complete backfilling and then we'll regrade and compact the road. And um, hopefully you'll never even know we're here except for a nice smooth road and a big stream filled culvert. So as part of the mitigation package in the NEPA, which is the National Environmental Policy Act, we, um, we decided that there were certain areas that we wanted to key into that needed some help from past activities, whether it was grazing or mining. And so like tree felling, that was to keep the cows out of the stream and protect the upper end of the watershed. The AOPs were put in so that we could have connectivity with the West Slope cutthroat trout in the drainage. The beaver analogs were put in to raise water levels in sections that have downcut. And uh, these were all identified mitigation that when we got to this point that we could implement those projects. And at this point, this is the last project in the entire pro um, Easter Lodge Valley restoration project that'll be completed and this project will be final at this point. To finally finish this off after probably four or five million dollars worth of restoration is pretty cool to see.